Uh, a very good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, uh, this is uh, the session on students' uh, presentation uh, on a uh, new novel. Uh, the group of students are going to introduce uh, uh, a very interesting novel uh, written by Kazuo Ishiguro. Uh, the novel uh, by a Japanese British writer. Uh, the title of the novel is An Artist of the Floating uh, World. Uh, so for this introductory presentation, I invite uh, the, the students, uh, Rahul, Jai, Solanki, Jaisri Khachar, and Akash Chauda to make uh, an introduction to uh, this uh, presentation uh, with us. Yes, so Rahul, you can start with the presentation. Uh, uh, we are going to present our presentation on the uh, interesting novel. An artist of the floating world. Here are the table of contents. Uh, you will find the explanation of this point in this uh, PPT. Now let's start with the first slide introduction of the author. The full name is Sir Kazuo Ishiguro. He is a British novelist, screenwriter, a musician, and also a short story writer. Kazuo Ishiguro was born in Nagasaki. Japan. Then he moved to uh, England at the age of five and grew up in Surrey, near London. Ishiguro's mixed culture, uh, culture uh, cultural background deeply influences his writing. Uh, in his writing, we, uh, we can find the uh, nostalgic ideas, nostalgic culture and uh, cultural reference and many more things. He know for uh, lyrical tales and general characteristics of uh, his uh, his writing that regret fused with uh, subtle optimism. Regret means connected with the memory, uh, uh, connected with the memory. Uh, uh, narrators uh, narrators deal with, uh, deals with the, some other memories and some uh, something find uh, problematic in the memories. <clears throat> Ishiguro is celebrated for his unique style, uh, unique and uh, subtle writing style. His novels often explore the theme of memory, identity, and the impact of personal choice. In in his uh, uh, works so far, we can find the uh, self identity, self religions, and uh, 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 some other memory conflict in his uh, working uh, writing style. He was influenced by the uh, Stokesy. Uh, Dostoevsky, Chekhov, and Dickens, and Japanese writers like uh, Tanizaki and Kawabata. In two, uh, 2017, Kazuo Ishiguro won the Nobel Prize in Literature for his work Uncovered the Abyss. Abyss means something darkness, something dark in the uh, life, in the uh, background, or something beneath our illusory sense of connection with the world. How they connection with the world, how they uh, pro uh, problematic uh, find in the world, and uh, how they live in the world. Kazuo Ishiguro also worked with the homeless charity uh, and rights rights for uh, some other uh, and uh, novels works of art. Now let's see introduction of novel. An artist of the floating world is a novel written by. Uh, Japanese writer Kazuo Ishiguro, a renowned British author of Japanese descent. This novel published in uh, the year 1986. This novel is set in incre increasingly westernized Japan or Americanized Japan after Second World War. This novel context is uh, delves into the complexity of challenges faced by the Japanese society in the aftermath of the war. Complexity of society, challenges in city, and uh, social uh, reflection of the memory and uh, social changes. Now we can see in this uh, novel. In this novel, the protagonist is Masuji Ono, an egging artist, a political artist. We can uh, we also known as a political art artist who was once celebrated for his work as a painter of traditional Japanese art. He very well connected with uh, his uh, works of art, like a painting in political art and many more things. We can find also in uh, this uh, novel uh, themes like memory and reflection, cultural shift, art and responsibilities. The novel serves as a critic 
of the societal values in post war post war japan and it raises question about accountability personal responsibility and the role of the individual in shaping the collective identity also we can find the self identity quest for the identity and a complete uh, uh, accountability of uh, our uh, rights and responsibility and many more things uh, ishiguro's major works uh, other major works like uh, a pale view of hills uh, published in 1982 then a rim uh, the uh, remains of the day published in 1989 then the under unconsoled published in 1995 uh, then when we we uh, when we were orphan published in 2000 and last one lara and the sun published in 2021 now uh, for more uh, light up on the topic i would like to call jay solanki thank you rahul bhai uh, so now i am going to deal with the two uh, other points of uh, this uh, novel so we can say presentation uh, first is history uh, historical context and uh, second was in uh, unreliable narrative so in a historical context there is a context of uh, the novel and the japanese culture so basically uh, this connection of the japanese art in uh, a, uh, 18th century so the floating world uh, yukyoi refers, uh, refers to the urban lifestyle and enter- entertainment of culture that flourished in edo and present time in tokyo uh, during the edo uh, edo period period uh, 1603 to uh, 1868 uh, among the merchant class and samurai patrons uh despite being the bottom of the bottom of the social uh, hierarchy and wealthy wealthy merchants gain prominence through their patronage of arts including painting print making literature music theater and the pleasure boat uh so uh, basically the japanese culture are uh, if you uh, see in a uh, novel also that uh, mention about the uh, painting also so uh, in japanese culture they are uh, more uh, focusing on this uh, art the yukioi uh, wood block paint in uh, despite scenes uh, from the uh, floating world uh, often f- uh, featuring count portents count- and geisha uh, kabuki actors and other denies of en- entertainment district uh, artists like utamaro hokusai and and is he kept the vibrant uh, culture of this time period in their yukiyo uh, yukiyo prints which com- uh, combine images with poem, poem and uh, reference to the two classical japanese literature uh, uh, basically japanese literature uh, uh, and their artists are uh, more uh, like we can say more uh, connected with uh, their uh, ideas of the image of uh, poems or uh, something they are uh, putting in Uh, their uh, works. So the novel, an artist of the floating world, is set in the year after World War II. Uh, as a, uh, we can uh, in a further presentation when uh, my uh, other group member will discuss about the novel, you can find out how uh, World War II is very connected in this uh, novel that Ishiguro uh, writing uh, that time of period. Period. Uh, and deals with an uh, agent uh, artist who had been prominent painter of the floating world and during the lead up to the war now uh, grappling with his role of uh, propagating uh, no, uh, nationalist ideals and the novel explores the theme of memory regret and the transition of japanese society from the uh, insular edo period to the modern era reflecting of the significance and the ultimate imp- impermanence of the floating world culture as uh, Ra- uh, my uh, group matter raw by mention about the memory of uh, that how uh, memory is in, uh, in this culture and we uh, can say in the modern era are a very uh, significant and a uh, very important so uh, next i will going to uh, talk about uh, hirohito sorry hirohito that uh, interior of the japan 
that this guy uh, this person is how he uh, connect with uh, the novel that the novel uh, you can say the novel uh, that time of period hirohito is the become the im imperial of that, that time uh, uh, the and uh, he uh, also known as sowa the face of debate about the role during the japanese uh, military military strict period while some suggest he opposed militaristic pol policies other claim he was involved in uh, expansion plans hirohito settled a uh, dispute in a favor of peace in uh, 1945 announcing surrender in the historical radio of uh, radio broadcast he he repudiated the uh, divine status for uh, imp uh, emperors in uh, 1946 as a japanese tradition for a con constitutional monarchy with the power of cartel uh, in next we can say how we can connect hirohito and the novel so the connection between hirohito and the novel lies in the historical and cultural context of japan is during the period which is the novel is set so as i say the uh, novel is set of the world war 2 that uh, in the in that time of period hirohito is also uh, uh, in in that uh, era time and the ishiguro write this novel uh, i don't know why but but uh, uh, he write the uh, novel but is not connect uh, is not well connected if, but is connect with not uh, i like i like not connect with the roar but is connected with the art of japanese art that how is showing so uh, we can find that there is uh, no connection between uh, this but hirohito and the novel is uh, in uh, some like some way they are very connected to each other uh, imperial uh, hirohito is range came into tumult uh, tumult tumult to a period in japanese history he was the symbolic finger head of japan during the imperial exp, uh, expansion and eventually defeat in world war 2 after a war under the allied occupation hirohito renounced his divine status and become the constitutional uh, monarch while hirohito himself is not a character in the novel uh, as i said uh, there is no connection between any uh, character also uh, but his reign is event of the world war 2 deeply influence of backdrop against the with the novel a uh, story unfold uh, in a uh, in a further we can when uh, the my uh, guru presenter will talk about the story how uh, this story is the that uh, hero is to uh, like how hero is to connect in uh, in this uh, story and the novel that we can find out uh, in uh, further uh, the societal shift the culture changes and a collection reflects on the past that of occur occurred during hirohito's reign up, uh, are integral to the thematic deep this of uh, uh, an artist of the floating world uh, now the second topic uh, on a reliable narrator uh, so for first i will uh, talk about uh, what is uh, the meaning of that and uh, who first give the this this idea the narrator whose trustworthiness is in doubt found in fiction and movies and spanning from children to major characters uh, in in this novel uh, further we can found the one character uh, called uh, masuji ono is a uh, is the main point of the this uh, uh, this idea uh, uh, this point in uh, by the wensi boot in uh, 1961 in his uh, book of the theoretic uh, fiction the only unreliable narrator are uh, typically uh, typically first person but there are argument for, for second person and the also third person sometimes the narrator lack of re re reliability is immediately uh, observable obvious uh, the narrator might open with the clearly false claim or admit to mental illness the story might have clues uh, hitting at the narrator on a real ability uh, the twist might reveal the narrator's uh, deception near the end some white uh, vital information is uh, concealed or mispresented by the narrator readers are from prompt to reconsider, reconsider their perspective on the story uh, the narrator on a real ability might be hint at living in 
dissertation open now uh, the character from the novel masuji ono is a is a point of the unreliable narrator the how uh, how in a novel is uh, is showing the concept of this uh, narrative thing uh, so Mas uh, masuji ono's uh, tone is uh, often defensive as he tries to justify rationalize his past action in supporting the disgrace faces uh, reading during world war ii ono defending his declaration about the mistakes he made as part of influence that caused the suffering and uh, portraying his attempt to frame it in a self-justifying manner. So uh, Ono, in a way, is uh, in, in a store, uh, in a, a novel, is not uh, for justifying himself how they, his manner is, uh, how his manner is show, showed. And uh, he also, of course, is, uh, he also, he, like himself is suffering, that uh, because of himself, he is suffering. His polite and self effacing uh, formality in which in speech contrast with the society that how now really related him to marginalize suggesting honors unreliable perspective in fully acknowledging his fall from grace his <coughs> recounting of being rejected by his teacher early in his career affording a uh, transitional art is described as a balanced analysis uh, implying honors uh, Ono's uh, unreliable perspective in coming and uh, unhand, even handed uh, view on the event likely carry more emotional weight for him. Uh, Ono's allergic el tone laments the passing of traditional society. His verbal style uh, also in in endeavor in endeavor really, uh, evokes the traditional society whose passing his lemma, suggesting his unreliable, unreliable perspective may be stemmed from the being uh, untracked in the very traditional. So, in other way, when uh, the story will uh, tell by my uh, group partner, then you can find how Masaji Ono uh, is the uh, one character who is uh, like, is a uh, self, his manner, or we can say, uh, he did not find his Himself that uh, what he's doing. If some somebody say uh, uh, to uh, him to do that, uh, then he going that side also. And we can you can find it uh, in a, a story or also novel. So uh, I will in my uh, part with uh, one part of uh, Masaji Ono that uh, of course that is all matter of many years. And I cannot be watch that uh, those were my exact words that morning. So that that described the uh, the point of many years ago. Like he is not like he is very unreliable. That uh, how is his character is showing in this novel. So thank you. Now I will uh, in, I will invite Jayesh to continue. You know? So. So here are the characters of the novel, Masuji Ono, who is the protagonist and narrator of the story. Uh, he was a painter. Then uh, Noriko. Noriko is the uh, youngest daughter of the Masuji Ono. This uh, story's plot is uh, surrounded around the marriage of Noriko. Setsuko is the eldest daughter of Masuji Ono. Uh, and uh, Ichiro is Setsu uh, Setsuko's uh, son, who is the significance of the future generation. That how his innocence is a uh, how is innocence a uh, contract between the uh, hardship of the adulthood. Then uh, Matsuda and uh, Kuroda are the colleagues of the Masuji Ono, and Shintaro is the uh, student of former student of the Masuji Ono, uh, who is now become a businessman. So here is the summary: An artist of the floating world is a thought-provoking novel written by Kazuo Ishiguro, which was published in 1986. The story takes place in a post World War II Japan, a time. On his uh, life and the choices he made. Oh no, a retired painter was once celebrated for his patriotic artwork that supported Imperial Japan during the war. However, as the political landscape shifted and the world uh, and war ended, Ono finds himself grappling with the consequences of his action. 
the novel dwells de delves into a complexities of uh, guilt regret and personal responsibility as i said the uh, plot plot of the story is surrounded by the marriage of noriko so the um, they are not able to find a guy for uh, noriko or uh, a year ago noriko's marriage was a uh, fixed but uh, at the last moment they stepped back from uh, from her marriage so now ono is searching for a uh, groom for her daughter through ono's uh, uh, introspections and memories we gain insights uh, into his past life as a propagandist for the government as he navigates his memories ono must confront the uh, truth about his own role of in promoting a national uh, nationalistic agenda this examination through honest in uh, introspections and memories we gain insight into his past life and uh, as a propagandist for the government as he navigates his memories ono must confront the truth about his own role in promoting a uh, nationalistic agenda the examination forces him to question the nature of his artistic endeavors and the impact they had on society The novel also explores broader themes such as a clash of traditional Japanese values with the waves of modernize, uh, modernization sweeping the country. Ono represents a generation caught between the past and the present, grappling with uh, how uh, how best to navigate social societal uh, change and find personal redemption. Memory plays a crucial role in the narrative as Ono's recollections shape the way he views himself and the world around him. The reader is invited to ponder. the reality of memory and the selective nature of our personal uh, narratives overall an artist of the floating world is announced and deeply intro introspective novel it offers a profound exploration of personal identity identity and moral accountability and the complex legacy of a nation uh, during a time of a great transformation so it's about marriage for example we are we have seen in our relatives or uh, in neighborhood that Uh, if uh, someone's parents or their grandparents had done something wrong then the uh, the generation the youth they are not able to get married like where i am coming from i am here so there is an uh, uncle it's, it's been like a four generation ago he married to a outcast so now when uh, the youth uh, the people uh, this uh, is a uh, sons and uh, they are when they are uh, uh, searching for a bride for him so everyone is saying like ब्यूटी ऑफ अर्ल्डो he continued when i am an old man when i look back over uh, over my life and see i have devoted it to the task of capturing uh, the unique beauty of that world i believe i will be well satisfied and no man will make me believe i have wasted my time so here is the relevance to india uh, this novel is not uh, directly uh, rela related to india but uh, here is some points uh, which can be we can um, relate so here is the pa pa painter m f hussain a celebrated indian painter grappled with identity questions like masuji ono and faced controversies for his depiction of cultural and religious figure yet remains as a significant figure, uh, figure in indian art so he drew the paintings you can see about uh, indian goddess nudity and uh, our bharat mata also he uh, drew a nude uh, woman as a bharat mata so he he also uh, uh, 
feel that uh, backlash of the people like uh, ono has the uh, feel and uh, here is donner uh, sitaram is uh, an unknown painter who paint for a uh, british british people from june 1840 to early october 1850 sitaram traveled extensively with uh, francis rogan uh, also known as the marquis of hastings who had been appointed as the governor general in india in 18 uh, 1830 and held a position for a decade while not directly related parallels can be drawn between ono story and the controversy surrounding uh, sitaram's collaboration with the british colonial uh, colonial administration exploring the ethical dilemma faced by artists in oppressive regimes like he was unknown to the world uh, still we can feel uh, right now that uh, we were fighting for uh, our uh, we were fighting for the uh, india and meanwhile he was going for the british so here is the indian novels that uh, that are also not uh, same as the novel but uh, here is some things that can be uh, seen as a uh, same so first is the shadow lines uh, by amitav ghosh uh, uh, in this novel um, in this novel uh, there is a partition, uh, partition of india and bangladesh where uh, he also uh, this this is also related with uh, on that how um, that how um, political You are there, right? You are there, right? Okay. You can continue. No problem. I think it is not visible on the screen. Then also you can continue. Yeah. So here is the first novel, The Shadow Lights by Amitav Ghosh. In this uh, novel, uh, unnamed narrator, who, uh, who the novel is set in the during the time when uh, the partition of India and Bangladesh. The, so the um, unnarrated, uh, unnamed narrator of the novel and one of both are the same which. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 
so the owner and the narrator both are uh, both are facing the uh, situation after uh, the political uh, political event happen that uh, in a uh, in the uh, owner owner's life where uh, there was a world war 2 and in uh, this novel uh, in a party uh, partition of india and bangladesh then second novel is midnight children by salman rushdie in this uh, novel the narrator of the novel born on the day of uh, 50 august uh, 19 uh, 1947 uh, so he he, th- he thought himself as a special child because he w- was born at the middle of the night of that day so in the uh, in this novel also he, uh, he is going through other uh, because when we he also suffered from the uh, the political situ- situations happened uh, before the our uh, before the britishes and uh, after uh, after they uh, go then uh, the third novel is the uh, god of small things uh, in the uh, this novel is also uh, also thematically connected with that how the old older uh, person do such a things that uh, affect the life of other people then uh, fourth novel is the uh, a fine balance by rohit on misty in uh, this novel there is a four uh, story of uh, four people he, wo- he is also uh guilty like ono ono is and uh, for uh, an example uh, so how uh, the family dyna- dynamics works in this novel so for example if uh, uh, i am telling about, about uh, my family where uh, we had a discussion so i um, my there was a news going on that bhagavad gita is going to be in a textbook of uh, students so i was telling that uh that's not good because uh, in, on the uh, one hand they are saying that uh, they are making the burkhas in uh, karnataka and on the uh, other hand they are reading bhagavad gita so there there must be a going to be a uh, very huge problem that they will uh, mu- the muslim people will also be uh, like uh, they have also right that they should wear a burqa if we are going to wear the bhagavad gita so my parents will like my parents will like um, no it's not good this is hindu nation so i told them that uh, i know this is hindu nation but we are living like vasudev uh, kutumbakam so where is that uh, uh, so they are like you are uh, you are. there is a meme going on uh, going on everyone is they are like ab jian ho so he was like ab musliman ho so i was like that doesn't make me musliman if i am telling that <laughs> if i am telling that so this is how family dynamics works that they are saying that they are they feel like i am against the hindutva and they always see me like that now now i would like to call uh, akash for further hello akash okay so good afternoon everyone uh, moving further with the four aspects of life that presented in the novel so first one is art for nation we know that uh, masu jono is uh, much influenced by the chizu matsuda uh, who influenced him to draw the paintings of the uh, imperialistic japan so he uh, deviates uh, masu jono to uh, from art for art sake which is represented by the mori moriyama uh, the teacher of uh, masu ji ono uh, he was he was kept uh, he was uh, in favor of capturing the transient beauty of the life which is the floating world the pictures of the ukiyoe and from there he took masuji ono from a poor uh, art for the poor and then for the uh, propagandist art uh, propagandist uh, paintings and the fourth one art for business which is represented by the uh, takeda studio uh, they are uh, painting uh, on they are mass they are doing the mass production of the painting so which is something that should not be done with the art uh, okay so theme in the novels first one is the role of role of an art an artist so there are mainly uh, two ways in which a uh, artist should uh, achieve his art that first one is uh, depicted by the uh, the teacher the sense of the masujiyo no moriyama uh, which uh, which in favors of the capturing the transient beauty of the urban life the ephemeral beauty uh, uh, of the uh, ukiyoe uh, while matsuda who believes that the uh, beauty uh, the painting should be used for the uh, nationalistic purpose uh, for the propaganda and which is connected with uh, outer world and there are other other two ways which is represented by 
uh, Ono's father, who thinks that art is unnecessary. Uh, and the master Takeda studio, which we have seen, that mass production over the creativity. Ono's father wanted uh, Ono's father wanted him to become a businessman just like him. He wanted to take over. Uh, he wanted Masu Jono to take over his business. Uh, and in the uh, in enraged uh, when he was uh, when Masu Jono was young, he also burnt burnt some of the paintings of the uh, Masuji Ono as well. His father burnt his paintings as well. So Ono doesn't fully embrace any idea, but he moves from one idea to another idea. So next theme is intergenerational conflict. Uh, in this novel, uh, we have four four generation of the Ono's family. First one is Ono's father, then comes Oro, and then uh, then Ono's uh, three children. Uh, one is Kenji, who, Kenji, who, who was the son, who was uh, died in a war affair. And the two other daughters, uh, younger daughter is uh, Noriko, and elder do uh, eldest daughter is uh, uh, Setsuko. And Setsuko and, uh, Setsuko and Suichi's son, Ichiro. These were the four, four uh, families, or four generations of the families are depicted in this novel. And this is uh, one thing that we can very much connect with ourselves. When, whenever we are talking with uh, our grandparents, uh, we can find that the specific, uh, the, uh, specific ideological difference between between us. So uh, he also contends with the cultural clashes with his children who embraced the American influence. After the after the post in the post-war Japan, Ichiro was much influenced by the Americanized version of the Japan. So this is something that Ono, uh, ono didn't like. Uh, uh, ono wrestled with the feeling like a burden to the young generation while seeking relevance in the changing times. So imperialism and sovereignty. Uh, Throughout Ono's life, Japan undergoes a political upheaval. Uh, before World War, he, Ono was a part of the imperialistic Japan, and he contributed to the uh, he uh, indirectly contributed uh, to the war through his uh, propagandist pa uh, paintings. And uh, he wanted to become Japan's military as a global power. And uh, he sees poverty and injustice; uh, they can only be cured by the nationalistic, uh, nationalistic, mo nationalistic motives and the militarization of the Japan. But he doesn't explain fully how. Uh, after Japan has defeated uh, uh, in the war and uh, consequences were grave, the two atomic bombs were there. Uh, and after that, the atomic, uh, after that, the American imperialism grown in the Japan, which uh, for the uh, which Ono considers as a humiliation for the Japan. And uh, this uh, this shows the constant decline in the imperialistic Japan, which Ono was supported. Uh, then comes the aging. Much of the novel is about the uh, aging of the age, aging of the Masuji Ono. Uh, it reveals that much of the Ono has uh, much of the Ono what has portrayed about himself is entirely truthful, as we have seen in the earlier earlier part as well. That Ono was uh, Ono is not a reliable narrator. He he, he recollects his memory and tells us that we can, uh, we should question that uh, how uh, at what extent he is uh, accurate about what he tells, and sometimes he exaggerates his past influence as well. Uh, this uh, this irrational behavior can be justified by the uh, he the loss that he has suffered about his son and about his uh, about his uh, uh, wife as well Michiko. So and the other one the loss of Japan. Uh, uh, ono is, uh, if Japan had not defeated in the war, Ono supposed to live as a, a respected reverential uh, uh, artist. But Japan is defeated and he has seen uh, uh, much of the disgraced war painter after the in the post war japan so uh, another is grief uh, grief is uh, there are three three kind of griefs for uh, grief that suffers ono uh, first one he struggles with the unexpected loss the premature death of his son and his wife leading him to distort reality to cope and the second one is uh, he considered matsuda as a man, as as his mentor so his death he mourns his death and he considered him as a uh, his a friend and the uh, the last Ono grapples with the ongoing pain of betrayal and conflict. Uh, ono in his in his younger days was a uh, was a spy of imperialistic government, and he reports everything to the government if anyone practicing the anti uh, anti imperialistic movement or anything part of it. So his uh, disciple uh, uh, Kuroda was uh, practicing some of the anti national anti national movement. So he reported this to uh, re reported this to government and. But after the uh, time goes on, and after the in the post-war Japan, uh, he uh, kind of regret this decision, and the loss of the relationship is difficult because Ono still hopes for reconciliation 
causing him to revisit his decision and grieve a new uh, a pedagogy. Uh, much of the novel is about the teaching method and the complexities between the teacher and the disciples. Uh, and Ono experienced this firsthand because he was also the student, student of the Moriyama and the teacher, teacher of the Kuroda. Uh, when he becomes Moriyama's co pupil, he starts questioning his teacher's method. And also, teachers uh, wanted uh, teachers wanted them to excel at excel their student, but uh, at the same time, he wanted uh, them to rely upon them, which is not a good thing. Uh, ono betrays his own student when he behaves in a way that Ono disapproves of. That, that is Kuroda. Ishiguro suggests that power and fame as a teacher can be corrupt. And he implies the importance of the authority. Uh, figures like flexible and open minded without directly moralizing. Uh, next is marriage. Uh, much of the plot or the story of the uh, novel is uh, revolving around the marriage. Marriage of the uh, uh, young, younger daughter of the Master Giono, uh, Noriko. Uh, Noriko's previous, uh, previous engagement, which, uh, which uh, has broken and it, it was with uh, Miyake, but uh, now they have arranged an uh, arranged marriage with uh, Saito family, uh, Saito family's son Taro, involving more than just a couple. Uh, we have seen that in our culture, uh, in Indian culture, uh, when the two persons are marrying, that there are not only the two persons, but the two family are marrying and they time and again want to know the background of the family, like they, whether they are good or bad. So in the Japanese culture as well, they have uh, they have their kind of a ritual to hire a spy and uh, they tell them to spy over the uh, family to know more about the background of the uh, background of the family. So if they hire the spy, then Masu uh, Ono's uh, disgraceful, uh, dis disgraceful image in the imperialistic Japan would be revealed and that is what, uh, uh, not, uh, that is what Masu Ono was not wanted. So the marriage in the novel are influenced by the social status, family ties and the politics. Uh, the relevance, uh, the relevance of the artist, Masuji Ono, Masuji Ono's pursuit of artistic significance is very much prevalent in the art, uh, artists of the floating world. Uh, despite his technical skill, uh, uh, Ono lacks a unique, a unique vision and instead different art movements that that were going on at that time. Uh, he thinks that he was uh, producing something good work, something original work. But the thing is that he was not doing so. He was just following the uh, ongoing trend, ongoing trend, and we have seen earlier in the web, er, early early stages as well that he first uh, he he moves first he drawing the uh, uh, paintings of the landscape. From there he goes to the ukiyo-e, uh, the uh, pleasure uh, pleasure district paintings, and then uh, at last he also uh, uh, recognized as a nationalistic propaganda painter as well. So ultimately his contribution are seen as unoriginal and insignificant. He wanted to be uh, a significant artist of the uh, Japan, but that that was not happened. Uh, fading into obscurity as cultural trends change. The, uh, the title reflects Ono's status as an artist whose work is tied to passing trends rather than genuine, genuine originality, leading to his eventual irrelevance. Memory, self-deception, and uh, self-perception. So this novel uh, is much, much more connected with the uh, unreliability of the narrator Masuji Ono. We have seen that he recalls his past memories and tells us a, tells us a story. So uh, Ono's, recollect, uh, Ono's recollections may be, uh, may be distorted by his desire to avoid the feelings of guilt, uh, rather shame. He was ashamed of his uh, participation in the imperialistic movement of Japan. Knowingly or unknowingly, his paintings were used as a uh, propagandist, uh, propagandist artist. By, the, uh, by, the, by, the, by his paintings, the uh, youth of the Japan was inspired to go into the go into the war and participate in the war. So, and this led to the uh, uh, war. This led to the defeat of the war. And the use of the unspec uh, the use of an unsp unspecified you. He constantly addressing someone. He uh, uh, someone uh, who he believes that who pretends to be who pretends that uh, he is uh, not uh, he is not judging Ono because because of his past. Uh, past actions and he time and again uh, omit, omit some pivotal events uh, in his life and contradict from an attempt to portray himself in a favorable light. Uh, the unreliability of his account leaves open the interpretation of whether he was a significant figure or an irrelevant one. We can say that uh, by, his, uh, by his narration, uh, we can say that he is not as much as of a, a, a respected painter as he considered himself to be. So he constantly uh, leaves in a perpetual denial that 
he was a he was a respected respected painter at that at that time but he was not so uh, city nation and history uh, masujiono's uh, narrow focus on the physical landmark and the dis uh, districts of the city uh, in artists of the floating world so uh, he he considers that uh, city is changing after the world war japan but he does not uh, he does not uh, take it, uh, take this towards the uh, broader themes uh, that affected all the japans he he knows that uh, pleasure districts were quartered and pleasure districts were no more pleasure districts were uh, 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 destructed and all the things uh, uh, however his sharp observer observation suggests his true talent may lies in capturing the physical world accurately rather than creating the propagandist world okay so the symbols in the novel first one is the bridge of hesitation bridge of hesitation metaphorically symbolizes the ono's internal conflict uh, ono's internal conflict and uncertainty of his past action and the consequences of his past action and this uh, this symbol is uh, one of the uh, important link between the ono's past and ono's present this bridge of hesitation links the both things uh, uh, the, this bridge is a uh, bridge between the pleasure districts of the japan which Uh, we joins pleasure district to the uh, the rest of the city uh, the uh, the bridge's significance deepens as ono shares its name story highlighting its role as both personal attachment to the old pleasure district and a lost symbol of the vanished uh, subculture uh, samurai samurai symbolizes the japan's power sovereignty uh, and patriotism in the novel ono sees them as a representation of the japanese culture and uh, and also his son was much very much influenced uh, ichiro grandson was Uh, very much influenced by the uh, american cartoons and american cowboys and american power rangers that all thing but he wanted uh, he wanted to uh, influence uh, he he wanted in ichiro to be influenced by the uh, uh, the samurai the samurai the, the very uh, thing which symbolizes the japan's core he includes samurai in the list of exciting alternatives to cowboy for his grandson Ich ichiro highlighting their importance in the vision of the ideal japan in the painting complacency ono depicts impoverished boy in the samurai like poses this is the painting which he uh, which is a, which is first painting which he drew in the uh, imperialistic japanese movement complacency in which he portrays the boys in uh, a samurai like like he was saying that suggests that the japan the japanese lake uh, japan's lake of military strength uh, diminishes their potential for respect and admiration samurai hold symbolic significance within the ono's consciousness representing his idealized version of japan so reception room continue uh, in the novel the reception room symbolizes the enigmatic nature of the people reception room is uh, the room where uh, ono's uh, younger self ono as a young has uh, uh, lived man, uh, lived lived much time and this is the things uh, this, this is the room where people do gather and talks about the things communication happens in the reception room so he was a kind of a, he has a kind of a fear that if uh, the conversation will go on and his past self will be revealed and all these things so he reception room is kind of a uh, insecurity uh, represent insecurity for the uh, masuji ono and the conversation in the reception room with the important figures like his daughter satsuko he also reveals that uh, also says that he was not as much influ uh, he was not as influential as ono considered himself to be in the pre world war japan ishiguro uses this symbol to explore the novel's theme of implication adding the tension to the narrative uh, sake sake is a, a kind of a liquor or a, a wine uh, in the japanese uh, in, J in japan uh, which is made out of the rice uh, the sake symbolizes japanese masculinity uh, who wants to share uh, and ono wants to share the uh, time again share sake uh, wanted to share this sake with his grandson ono because he he, he did not want uh, ichiro to be influenced by the Uh, american thing american things rather he wanted him to be uh, remain in the cultural japanese culture while ono sees as linked to the masculinity ichiro seems ichiro ichiro seems it is not bothered by the sake things uh, concerned with the symbolic meaning suggest a detachment from its cultural significance ichiro on the other hand is uh, already uh, he was uh, out in the uh, american influence uh, cowboy cowboy is uh, another one uh, which uh, another one symbol which represented um, american dominance and or the westernized version of the japan ono is upset when he learned that his grandson liked to pretend to be the lone ranger power ranger and cowboy things and american animation he was watching that all these thing popeye and all that so uh, 
uh, these are these things uh, shows that he was very much influenced by the uh, westernized uh, westernized version of japan and this clearly shows the american dominance after the uh, second world war uh, lanterns uh, the lanterns in the novel is pretty much uh, uh, connected with the the paintings of the moriyama the teacher uh, the teacher of the masuji ono and he on uh, he by he adding this lanterns in, uh, in each each and every paintings of it which symbolizes the uh, uh, his uh, his love for the transient beauty of the human nature uh, gardens uh, in the novel garden symbolizes a harmonious collaboration between the human and nature uh, uh, in the in his initial days uh, ono was uh, painting the land uh, painting only the landscape uh, such as garden and that thing at that time everything was good but as soon as ono went on to pay, paint ukiyoe and uh, other nationalistic pen, uh, paintings then the changes uh, then the changes happened in the ono's life so uh, ono ultimately finds the solace in painting gardens at the end he, he returned to the old things he was doing at the uh, initial times suggesting a return to his true passion and desire desire for control over the nature okay so paintings of the floating world uh, this particular article is uh, written by donald jackins and in which he he wanted to make us aware about the diminishing art history of the japan uh, and japanese print and his uh, paintings his japanese prints which is hokusai great work this picture you can see is a uh, uh, one of the famous painting by the japanese artist hokusai which was a uh, 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 one of the famous artist in the edo period in 17th century japan uh, these paintings uh, you might see in uh, somewhere else as well uh, this painting is uh, as much as famous as the painting of the mona lisa yet nobody talks about the paintings like these uh, and interestingly the original paintings behind these prints are often overlooked uh, the western people uh, have a tendency to overlook this thing uh, overlook these things they do, they do not appreciate uh, appreciate the artist and uh, uh, in west there has been a big focus on they collect and enjoying the prints and they uh, they exhibit this print uh, as well but they do not give attention to the uh, uh, original paintings the uh, original inspired inspired painting like which pre, uh, which paintings uh, are inspired by these prints so the artists who made these kind of prints were not only the printers but also the painters and the illustrators so uh, the term ukiyoe here is uh, the how you can pronounce the term ukiyoe there is a different pronunciation used by different people it can be uh, pronounced as ukiyoe ukiyoe or uh, as you can see in here ukiyoe yeah so according to mariam webster uh, ukiyoe is a japanese art movement that flourished from the 17th century edo period to the 19th century and produced paintings and prints depicting the everyday life and interests of the common man common people and also the paintings of uh, the paintings and the prints of themselves uh, in japan the term ukiyoe is uh, the term japan ukiyoe is used to describe both prints and painting that means that they both things cannot be separated they are interconnected and here a bit of history of the japan uh, japan underwent a significant change during the tokugawa period which roughly lasted from the 1600 to the 1868 uh, uh, in the 16th century tokugawa ieyasu had uh, uh, recently finished gaining control and bringing to an end over 100 years of uh, fighting and turmoil in japan these are the people the, Tok uh, the tokugawa dynasty and the uh, the hero the these were the uh, emperors who have uh, uh, established the roots of the imperialistic japan and his efforts contributed to the significant change in the japanese society which resulted in outlawing the christian from japan and isolating japan from the outer world and this isolation result uh, this isolation resulted in uh, the growth in significant significant growth Uh, around the Edo district, which is current, uh, which is current day Tokyo, and merchant class were uh, merchant merchant class people were uh, in uh, merchant merchant class people were uh, growing on, and there is a, a clear distinction between the society between the merchant class people and the lower class people, and lower class people has no uh, has no way to go for, and they started to seek uh, started to seek pleasure more apparent than in the floating world. These floating worlds are the red light areas, the brothel. the pleasure districts the flower capital these all the world that that are used for the floating world and amusement district as well and this becomes the unique feature of the japanese culture and the city at their at their core so here are some paintings these are the paintings of the ukiyo-e which our uh, protagonist masujiyono was supposed to draw 
but uh, instead of uh, these paintings he was influenced by the matsuda and uh, joined in, in the imperialistic uh, movement uh, so the painting on your left side is a standing beauty uh, reading a uh, letter which is attributed to the tensai hokuba hokuba is a uh, one of the chief disciple of the hokusai and uh, on the right side the painting the courtesan and the attendants attributed to the agatsudo and third one is the, uh, the party and the party in the party in a boat uh, which is also attributed to the hokuba okay so by writing this novel uh, kazuo ishiguro wanted us uh, to get uh, wanted us to know more about our history he wanted us to develop a historical sense the things which have happened in the history we should not uh, uh, do do the thing twice so kazuo ishiguro's novel an artist of the floating world employs the character masuji ono and his unreliable narration will impart a moral lesson about the facing and understanding of the past errors here ono uh, in the pre world war uh, here on in the pre world war in the japanese Jap imperialistic japan was uh, made a decision that he he should be member of the imperialistic movement and then knowingly or unknowingly his paintings were used as a, uh, his paintings were used as a uh, propagandist uh, propagandist art uh, and after that uh, his uh, he came to, uh, after some some time the after the war he came to know that his uh, his past actions were not right and he has to suffer the consequences but here we can say the it is the owner's bad faith that he was not uh, he was not able to uh, recognize his uh, uh, moral responsibility and he he constantly uh, he constantly evades himself from facing the truth so critics like walkovich and mom argue that the novel uses the gap in time between when the story when takes place which is during the owner time in imperial japan and the present day when the owner was written to convey a moral message the historical distance allows reader to observe how societal values and ideas of the uh, what's right can change over time the uh, in the pre world war japan uh, he uh, ono as the ono was much respected and after the post uh, after we if you see from the lens of the post uh, post world war japan he was displaced and so we have uh, we should have developed the sense that uh, we should able to uh, betray our past in order uh, after we have recognized that these mistakes these were the mistakes of uh mine or else uh okay so conclusion to sum up this novel takes us from the pre war imperialistic japan to post war westernized japan where masuji ono uh, struggles with his past and searches his identity in the post world war japan so here are some uh, word cycle and thank you <laughs> yes you can unmute uh, there uh, are you able to get my voice yes have you unmuted you can show thumbs up if you are listening me are you able to listen me yeah okay 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 fine so quite well presented a bit longer one but still very detailed and very well prepared uh, presentation uh, uh, and very interesting points were also covered uh, from the beginning till the end from about the author to the articles uh, uh, the holistic manner uh, quite well prepared this was the last uh, uh, presentation uh, in terms of introduction of the units by students and Uh, it is quite satisfactory performance uh, that all the suggestions which were given to the other presenters uh, they were taken care of in this and was prepared quite well uh, also uh, some of the things were quite interesting let me share a screen uh, to highlight some part of the the presentation okay. so quite well prepared uh, uh, design wise also you have followed the pattern of uh, uh, ukiyoe huh? ukiyoe uh, uh, the japanese art which is followed in the pattern of uh, the all the slides also so it is 
symbolically representing uh, the major uh, titular theme uh, of the novel also. Uh, the other works were there, historical context also was very well uh, presented. Uh, the reference to Hirohito, the emperor of Japan in second during Second World War time. Unreliable narrator. Okay. Uh, even uh, the graphical presentation of characters also is quite well selected. Uh, this also was a good attempt, I would say, a good attempt to uh, connect uh, uh, the things with uh, the other uh, writers or with India. Uh, that is a good point. But still, uh, this needs to be uh, uh, investigated properly uh, also, either the reference to M.F. Hussain and the painting, or even this was a good uh, 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 finding uh, Sitaram as a painter and his painting during the British Raj time. So it is a good, find, uh, good finding about other painters uh, and their uh, relevance in the time. But again, I will when I come in the class, I will ask that how are you connecting this with uh, the protagonist of our novel, uh, Masuji Ono's uh, uh, painting. So you can keep those things ready. Even the other texts were also seen uh, as having a theme similar to uh, uh, this. Okay. Okay. And a reference to Ukiyo-e. Uh, several uh, good articles were referred to uh, authenticate uh, the things uh, when you refer to articles and get uh, either images or things from article, then it becomes very authentic uh, uh, also. So in the, uh, we see several jest or articles being referred uh, here. And also the reference to uh, Timothy Wright uh, in the article uh, was also uh, mentioned there, uh, right? And there was other article also. Mm -hmm. uh, Volkowitz and Wong. Yes, also, uh, uh, Volkowitz and Wong uh, also were referred. Uh, they also have written an interesting article uh, on this. Okay? Uh, and also, uh, Jayshree connected with the real life uh, uh, things also, uh, which also is quite interesting to note about the theme of marriage, for example, or the way uh, or the art is pursued in our time in India also. So those examples were also very good. Uh, you are able to connect with the uh, recent uh, happenings in India or a personal experience uh, which we can connect with. That is a very good outcome of a literary study. Yesterday also we were talking that uh, are we able to see it today and can we connect our experience with the experiences narrated in the narratives, in the poems that we study and how we try to see uh, those things that becomes uh, the really very good learning outcome uh, of the uh, study of literature. Okay, so uh, uh, let me end the live session here, live streaming.